Welcome to the Curvature Tool, one extraordinary tool that you are going to learn how to use it, and I hope you will really master it. It's practically easy. For this, we need to open a file, okay, just to have a template and work on the template. So I click Open, and over here you will find Curvature Demo Template.ai. Okay, we go Open, here you are. Press Command Zero. Now, for the sake of this course, I'm going to come to the layer here, select this layer, go back, and reduce the opacity as much as I can. Okay, something like this. Okay, that's fine. Come back to the layer and lock it and select the first layer to draw on. You know these things, we mentioned them several times. Now, the coverture tool is just over here. The shortcut is Shift something which I have never used, but you can start using it. So, how does it work? If you click once the first time, nothing happens. You have a blue dot or red dot. If you click again, you'll have a straight line. Let's increase the stroke to two. So you have a straight line, nothing happens. But then when you start moving on, you will notice that curves are being created depending on the third point. Now notice two curves are being adjusted. The one where you have at the end the curvature tool and the previous one. And that's what makes it very interesting and quite intelligent. So if you come over here, you know, I can go very easy and your aim maybe is to make the least anchor points or points. So I'm gonna just drop it over here. I think it is fine. Now going again, you will notice that it's even adjusting the other one. Notice what's gonna happen. I'm come over here and then over here and notice it's adjusting a bit all of them. I'm gonna come in fact just here. Then go ahead, put here, did you notice that it's not working? Don't worry about it. Continue a bit. Okay, let's remove the fill. Should have done this before. Okay, and then come back here. Now I'm gonna go this side and notice how it's adjusting the curve. So this is the curvature tool. It adjusts the curves for you. Pretty easy to use and somehow it's boring to use because it does almost everything for you. Now I'm doing it a bit carelessly just to show you how it works. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and notice like you will say this is wrong. Look, it's gonna adjust it. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. And then when you come back to the beginning, it's gonna close the path itself. So you notice the circle on the lower left, on the lower right of the curvature tool. So here it closes. So you might say, oh, this is not very good. But actually you can click now and start adjusting them the way you would like. Okay, so that's some adjustment and notice how it's adjusting all over almost okay it's doing quite some adjustment we could have done this and being meticulous at the beginning so actually this is the concept itself is as easy as this now you might say okay here is not very good you can add a point and start adjusting again notice how even the curves before and after the curve i'm manipulating here are being adjusted if you decide okay this point is not good select it and press the delete key, it goes away. Now for the eyes, let's zoom in, and we're gonna do the same. We can start from here, for example, go over here and to here, and notice the curve is almost being done and being pretty speedy about it. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and over here. Notice how it's gonna curve again. Here you are, okay? And it's gonna curve. Actually, it's gonna curve all over the place and make your life very easy. Now, something you don't like, click and just adjust it. Now, for the eyes here, it's a circle. So to do a circle, we can use the circle tool. Actually, there are perfect circles. So you can click, 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 and this is your circle. Another time, click and click. I made a mistake. And click over here, click over here, and here, and just over here. How I'd like working sometimes, just to have fun, is to click here and then click here, close the path, and close the path. Okay, then come back here, put another one and just draw it like this and adjust it. Okay, so actually this is how you use the curvature tool. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, with the curvature tool, you don't have to do curves only. You can do straight lines. If you click once, you will have a curve. Notice now we have curves here. But if you want a straight line or a hard angle, you can press the option key and click once. 
Okay, so now you have a line. Press the option and here you are. Another way is to double click and double click. But I prefer to hold this option key and here I am doing the curves, but they are not very good curves. Okay, they are really straight lines. So actually you can do, you know, very good straight lines and let's close it. One click, it will do. Cool, if you get, uh, you know, arrows coming out, sharp corners, you can come to the stroke. I've seen that. I will go through it even more and round both the corners. Here you are, done. Now, one problem is the curvature tool. Let's say you want to continue here. If I come over, it will not let me put another point here. Notice it will select the path itself. So I, usually what I do, I put outside, come back here, for example, I want to draw this line. So I'll put it over here, then click on it and move it. Okay, click on it and move it. Now you notice because I selected this one, it's continuing from here. I could have continued from the other side, but let's select this one. And let's come over here and double click, double click, or press the option key and I can double click here. It will actually select the other path. So I'm gonna double click outside and then bring it in. I like these games. Now, if you decide to continue from here, it's not gonna happen. Okay, guys, you have to continue from the end of the path. Now this guy, now I want to draw another drawing, but then this is coming with me, you know, it's connected to the other one. The way to disconnect is to press escape. Escape again. Okay, it's disconnected. Now, notice the shape over here. It has lines, it has curves, it has hard angles, okay, change of angles if you like. So we're going up, then we want to go down. So how would you work here? First of all, let's start with a line. So I would double click, come over here and also double click. The way I like working is to double click everywhere, okay? I will show you another method here. I clicked once, so I will double click and then click, and now I'm pressing the option key, okay, here. You might say, okay, what are you doing? Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. This is gonna be very fun. I will stop here. I will click in the middle here and just curve it the way I like. So somehow, I'm not restricted to adjust this one. I adjust it once, then I play with the curves, and I love working like this. Up to you guys, okay? Fine, you got the point. I'm gonna undo. Okay, undo a lot. And when it comes to this guy here, you can click over here and then over here. That's the curve very nicely. Now, you cannot go on this side since you're working in this method. You are going to click here and then click here once. Notice it did the curve for you. Click here and come over here, double click. Now, I made a mistake here. It should be a double click, a hard corner. Very easy to adjust. Double click on it. Here you are, it did it. So, put one over here. And let's double click here, not make a mistake. And then we click here and over here. If by mistake you click once, cool. That's not good because it's gonna make a curve here. You want to double click on it. And then you come back, click, and click again. And we are clicking everywhere. So I'm gonna click over here and over here. Made mistake, so double click here. I know that we make a lot of mistakes. So double click here, click, and we go on and actually I clicked once here. So I'm gonna double click here and double click here. Here you are, very nice. From here to continue, I'm gonna, I will press the option key, click. Okay, that's hard corner. Then here, click once. Then here, just press option key, click. Here, option key and click. So hard angles, option and click or double click. Now curves, you just click once and here, Notice how it's working. This is a double click or an option click, an option click, a simple click, an option click, an option click, simple click, option click, and of course take it outside and bring it in. That's pretty amazing, right? Okay, let's press the escape key to exit. Over here, we go one. I prefer to go two, three, four, it's gonna rotate, notice. Okay, five, it didn't work. Okay, no problem. So you come over here, where would you like to adjust it? This is, if we double click here, now it's gonna be the other way. That's not right. So let's put another one here. Adjust it the way you would like. Another one here. Notice how the curvature tool is really doing the job for you. Pretty easy and pretty nice. To do the eye, I will do one, two, and three and four and adjust 
I need to double click here and double click here or click here. So I'm going to option click. Okay, here you are. So here one and two and option click and just close it and then double click here and then click and drag it up. Very nice. Now we come to the fire. The fire here is a mixture of lots of things. Clicks and double clicks and option clicks, whatever you like. So if you try to do this one, actually this should be your homework. You can click and turn. Okay. And then come over here. That's how it's going to rotate with me. Didn't rotate, so come back. No problem. And adjust it. Here also adjust it. So now let's be more careful. Come over here. And here I need to option click. And here just a click. And here just a click. And we go on. It's getting boring, right, guys? Okay. Now, we can continue this one. I'm going to double click here. And let's do one here to curve. And double click here. One here to curve. And double click on the top. We can click over here and curve it. Just over here. And also curve it here. Notice how it's going to change here. Right? Okay. Not good. Let's bring it over here. Let's take this one here. Okay. And then another one. And let's close over here. Okay. Up to you now to work the other. So that's how easy is the curvature tool. And that's how important it is to learn it very well. You need to do a lot of exercise. Actually, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, something that you can use much more than the famous pen tool. Okay, guys. This is about the curvature tool. In French, is curvature. It's really nice. In fact, curvature. It's really nice. I love French. I will see you in the next video.